Today we're talking about Grade 3 Science Animal Life Cycles. Click on Start and open up PowerPoint 2007. You want to create a new blank slide and along the ribbon at the top you want to find where it says Smart Art. Now there's lots of different options in here. For today we're going to click on the one that says Cycle. And again you can see there's a number of different choices. We're going to go with the first one here. Hit OK. And it puts it right in our slide. Now since this is the only thing we're going to have on our slide, we'll expand it so it fits in the space. The little arrows on the side allow you to access the text. We'll go ahead and we'll delete everything that's in here so we can start from scratch. The very first thing we're going to type in is egg. The next thing caterpillar. and then pupa. Finally, butterfly. As you can see, we'll be talking about the life cycle of a butterfly. Now that we have the four main cycles, we can start playing around with some of our options. We can change the colors, we can change the 3D effects, lots of different fun options down here. Put it on an angle, rotate it around. Let's go with this one. You can also change the colors. There's quite a few options in here. It's not limitless, but there's a few options to go through. I like purple. So why choose this graph? There's a number of other ones. Let's take a look. We could as easily use this one or this one. There's a few more here. They all represent a cycle. Let's take a look at some of the graphs that we probably wouldn't use. Pie chart doesn't make a lot of sense for what we're trying to demonstrate here. That one's a little bit better. I'll try this one. To me, this doesn't make sense at all. It's missing the entire connection between butterfly and egg. And again here. And again. As you can see as we look through here, there's lots of different options. There's lots of different charts that you can create. But you really have to be smart about what are you trying to get across? What message are you trying to, trying to have your audience understand from you? So again, we'll go back to Cycle, select that one, OK, and there we go, back to where we started. The next thing we might want to do is we might want to add in some pictures. Go ahead and click on Pictures, find the one that you want, Insert, move it around so it makes sense. You can resize it, you can add some picture effects in here as well. You can put a border or a frame or a shadow or a reflection. Lots of different options in here. Let's go with this one here. And again, we'll just repeat the same process. We'll look for the picture, we'll insert it, resize it as we need to, move it about, find the format that we want, and select it. It's as easy as that. Third one here. And finally, the last one. You see I've got them all formatted the same. That's up to you. Be a little bit creative. Have a little bit of fun with this. We'll just adjust them a little bit put them where they need to go, make sure they're connected to the right categories. Well, it's looking pretty good. 
One more thing we should probably have, we go over here. We can either insert a text box, but we're going to enter some word art. There's lots of different options in here. Let's pick one that kind of matches. Go with the purple again. We'll call this life cycle. Move this around. Put it where we want it. And we're going to save this, give it a name, make sure we know where we're saving it. And there you have it. And we've created a visual representation of the life cycle for a butterfly.